Hi everyone! So, hindi na ako makapaghintay na ipa-experience sa inyo ng very light lang yung feeling ng na-balance mo yung ginawa mo. Pero, for this time, ang gagawin muna natin is a trial balance which is the step 4 of our accounting cycle. So, are you ready? I know you are, so let's go! Pero bago tayo mag-start, kuha ninyo muna ulit yung journal nyo na ginawa natin sa first and second step. Tapos, syempre, yung ledger natin. Yung ledger natin na pinost natin last time sa isang video natin. It's best for you to watch from the first step o oh, mas maganda pa rin kung mag-start pa rin kayo dun sa basic accounting natin. Kasi hindi nyo maiintindihan kung meron kayong masiskip na mga lessons or mga theories na dapat nyong malaman muna bago kayo mag-proceed dito sa video na to. And for those na ngayon pa lang nanood, please uh, subscribe to our channel. Consider liking this video if you find it helpful. And you can comment down kung may tanong kayo or suggestions na mga lessons na kaya ko namang i-discuss. So, it will be an opportunity. So, let's proceed. Start ulit tayo sa definition kung ano nga ba ang trial balance. According dito sa book ni Win Balyada of Basic Accounting or Basic Financial Accounting and Reporting, the trial balance is a list of all accounts with their respective debit or credit balances. It is prepared to verify the equality of debits and credits in the ledger at the end of each accounting period or at any time the postings are updated. So, titignan natin kung balanced ba ang debits at credits ng mga pinost natin sa ledger. Kasi di ba t-account siya? So, dapat makita natin na tama yung parehong amounts na na-enter natin both sa debit and sa credit side natin. Pag may mali, tayo ang hahanap kung saan tayo nagkamali. Kung may error ba, hanapin natin yun. Pero, hopefully, wala. Mas masaya yun. But, uh, take note that it doesn't mean na kapag nabalanced mo siya, eh tama na siya. Minsan, kahit balance na, may mali pa rin. So, be careful. Tapos, uh, make sure na tama talaga ang bawat amount na ina-enter mo. Tapos, check mo lagi yung problems mula sa identifying pa lang ng transactions to be recorded sa journal. Tapos, kapag nagre-record ka na sa journal, dapat nakafocus ka sa bawat number na sinusulat mo. Before we start, kuha na kayo ulit ng isang pang paper na pagsusulatan nyo ng uh, trial balance natin. And also, calculator. Siyempre, pen. Yan. Okay? Go! We will start with writing the name of the company, which is the Wedding R Us. Tapos, trial balance sa next line. Tapos, sa ilalim nun is the date. Diba? May 31, 2020. Kasi ito yung last date. Or, kumbaga, siya yung pinaka-end ng period natin. Iyan ang tatandaan yung format palagi kapag gagawa tayo ng financial statements. Pero ito, trial balance lang siya. Pero, same na rin sila ng format. In this column, you will write the account titles, starting from cash. Sunod-sunod yun, numerical order, hanggang doon sa pinakalast natin, which is utilities, expense. Tapos, ito pa rin ang debit column and credit column, or credit side natin. Ngayon, Dito sa uh, column na to, you can write here the account numbers. Pero sa amin, hindi siya pinapasulat ng instructor namin. So, yun yung gagawin ko kasi kinasanayan na rin. So, since na-prepare ko naman na to nung sa last video natin, pwede ko ulit siya gamitin ngayon para hindi na ako mahirapan. Mabilisan na siyang isulat. Basta sunod-sunod. From assets, liabilities, Tapos, equity, revenue, and expenses. Ganun lang. Okay, write it down. Ayan. Tapos na ako na isulat ang lahat ng account titles natin in numerical order. Meron pala tayong 14 na accounts. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin is to transfer the debit, debit amounts 
to the debit side of our trial balance tapos credit amount from our ledger, di ba? Na pinost natin ng nakaraan dun sa credit side niya. Ganito. Di ba? Ang cash natin, ang balance niya is 12,600 sa debit side. Isusulat natin yung 12,600 here sa debit side ng cash natin. So, Ayan. Tapos, same with accounts receivable, which is 36,000. So, 36,000 siya sa debit. So, here. So, ganun lang ang gagawin. Sunod-sunod hanggang sa utilities expense. Do it, do it. Kaya nyo yan. Supplies natin, debit ulit, 18,000 pesos. Supplies is 18,000. After supplies, we have prepaid rent. Prepaid rent natin, debit ulit, 8,000. Debit, prepaid rent, 8,000. Tapos, Service vehicle, ayan, we have how much? 420,000 pesos. Transfer natin. 420. Okay. After that, we have office equipment. Office equipment, last na natin to sa asset natin, which is 60,000 pesos. Office equipment, 60,000. After natin kay office equipment, we have notes payable. Liabilities na. So, notes. Magkano? 210,000 ang ating notes payable. Transfer natin dito. Credit, 210,000. Focus. Next, accounts payable. We have 53,000 credit. So, ayan na siya. Next na. After natin kay accounts payable, last nating liability is utilities payable. Magkano? Credit ulit to. 1,400. Okay. Utilities payable. 1,400. Next, we have capital. So, dito na tayo sa equity natin. Capital na tayo. Magkano ang capital natin? Pero yung nanalo capital is 250,000 pesos. Unchanged. Pero yung nanalo capital 210 I mean, 250,000. Okay. Tapos, withdrawals. Withdrawals, 14,000 pesos. Where's our withdrawals? So, ito na tayo sa withdrawals. Dito. Oops. Debit ang withdrawals. Okay. After natin kay withdrawals is consulting revenues. Credit, 62,400. Credit tayo. Ayan. Tapos, expenses. Dalawa na lang. Ang salaries expense, 13,800. Debit. Okay. 13,800. Last is utilities expense of 4,400 pesos. Debit. So, 4,400. So, we're done. Ang gagawin natin ngayon is to add all the amounts. Both debit tapos credit. Magkahiwalay sila ng pag-add. 
And then, titignan mo kung balance sila. Ready na ba kayong ma-experience ang pag-balance? Now, let's go. Let's do this. So, we have two amounts from the debit side and the credit side. Ang total is 5,8,6,800 plus 5,7,6,800. So, we have a mistake. There's something wrong. So, binalikan ko from the journal hanggang sa ledger na pinost natin. Nakita ko yung mali. So, sa cash natin, it has to be only hindi siya 12,600 since meron tayong na post na May 15 transaction. Ito, May 15 sa cash na 10,000. Eh, wala naman tayo sa journal na May 15. Ayan. So, that's an example of a mistake. Sorry. So, Ang gagawin natin is i-correct na natin si 12,600 and voila! Balance na siya. Ayusin ko muna and ayusin nyo rin yung inyo. So, I already am finished with rewriting our trial balance kasi maganda pa rin kapag neat and pleasing siya. Now, na-add ko na yung debit side. Ang total natin is 576,800 Tignan natin if same amount ang lalabas natin sa credit. So, take note, 576,800. Sulat natin. Tapos, ito. 210. 53,000 14 joke lang 1,4 tapos 250,000 last is 62,400 wow. whoa, 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 whoa. I love this fitting 576,800 same with our debit so, balance na tayo. Congrats! After natin malaman na balance na yung ginawa natin, pwede na natin siyang i-close. Ang pag-close is a single line sa ilalim ng last amount natin, ng utilities expense. And then, write natin yung total ng debit natin, which is 576,800. Same with the credit, 576,800. Ayan. Tapos, make sure to double rule your final answers. Kasi kapag hindi naka-double rule yan, mali. Double rule. Ibig sabihin, dalawang guhit. Very simple. So, congratulations! So, na-unlock na ulit natin yung step 4 natin. And I'm so happy for all of you. And... Happy din ako na nakakapag-share sa inyo ng mga information and napapractice nyo yung skills na dapat nyo ma-practice. And good luck guys! God bless us all! Tapos, please subscribe again! Ulitin ko to our channel and like this video kung nakatulong. Share nyo rin sa mga friends nyo na uh, future accountants, ABM students, or aspiring to be a BSA student. And, ingat kayo palagi. 